blesses them alike. Are you see what I'm saying? Hallelujah. God looks beyond their fault and he sees their need. Hallelujah. They need a Savior. They need the Lord. They need forgiveness. They need compassion. Hallelujah. And God says, I look beyond their fault. That's all you fire came down this burn up 50 people so when Peter and John they thought yeah you know God given us power and so when they the people were against Jesus they said Lord should we call down fire should we burn them up God said whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. wait wait a minute he said, you don't know what kind of spirit you're of. I didn't come to destroy people's lives. Y'all hear what I'm saying? No, 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 no. That, that's not my spirit. I, I didn't come to destroy people's lives. I come to help them. I come to heal them, brothers and sisters. I'm looking at that and said, Jesus, help us where we fall short. But the scribes and the Pharisees came. They were so sure that they were right. And then Jesus said, the Sabbath was made for man and not man for Sabbath. And then the second thing he said, therefore, now let me, forward, let me go, but I ain't finished with that. He said, the higher law is what God's calling us to, right? Mercy and compassion. Hallelujah. You know, you, you, you know the, the story of the, the priest and the Levite. When the Samaritan, old Samaritan, well, he's half breed anyway, so you know, I guess he deserved to die. He was over there beaten to death and left for dead. And so here comes the priest, he walking along the line, he say, He walks on the other side. Ain't trying to help him, but he just walked on the other side. I guess you say, mm, mm, I wonder what happened to him, you know. And goes on. And here come <laughs> here come a Levite on the other side. Lord Jesus. <laughs> But he, can't, he, ain't, he ain't reaching out to heaven. He's gone. You know what I'm saying? But there came a Samaritan. Lord, you got to hear what God is saying here today. Oh, my God. I know he's talking to me. But he said, the Samaritan, now he's a half-breed. You know, he, he, a half-breed. You know, half this and half that, half Jew. And that. He was looked down upon by the righteous. And here come a Samaritan. Now he, Come and saw the man need help. Went there where he was, picked him up, bound up his wound, took him to an inn, and told him at the end, said, look, take care of him. And I'm coming this way in a few days. When I come back, whatever I owe you or he owe you, put it to my account and I'll take care of it. Lord, have mercy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we hear what the Lord is saying? Can we understand what the Lord is trying to get through to us? God is saying sometimes we look at people wrong. God has said, I want you to understand the nature that I've put in you. I want you to understand how I am. He said, a bruised reed and a smoking flag. A person who's just struggling, trying to hang on. No, 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 no. I'm not going to mash him down and I'm going to pick him up. Brush him off. Heal him. So that he can make it. Anybody understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is what we're all about, saints. Huh? Hallelujah. And then he further goes on. The Bible says we're to live by the golden rule, right? The golden rule, you know what it's doing to others as you would have them. 
do unto you. Ain't that what he's saying? That's what he's requiring of us. What, what, what you talking about, Brother Heron? If I'm down and out. And, 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 and I'm struggling trying to find my way in God. Don't understand why I'm going through what I'm going through. Need somebody that maybe have a prophetic word uh, to give me some insight as to what I need to do. And, and I don't need someone to criticize me. You know what I'm saying? I need somebody to pray for me. I need somebody to pray for me and get the mind of God and say, God, help my brother here, Lord. He's going through and, and God shed some light. Show him what he needs to do. What God is sharing with us is saying, this is where my church is. I need my church now to come up higher. I got people I need to send. They're broken in hearts. But I've got, I've got to get my church straight together. Isn't that right? And so uh, uh, living by the golden rule, whatever you want someone to do to you, that's how you live it. I don't want somebody to do this to me. You don't want somebody to do this to you. So that's how you got to live. Isn't that right? You got to live that way. That's, that, that, that's what he's saying by, by the golden rule. And, I, and the Lord went on to begin to say to me, he said, this is why I say love your enemies. Bless those that curse, persecute you or curse you. Do good to them that do harm to you. Right? Pray for them who despitefully use you so that you'll be like your father, which is in heaven. That's the spirit that you're of. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. But, 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 but he didn't stop that. This is what he said. He said, because the father caused the son to rise on the good and the bad, the just and the unjust. Isn't that right? In other words, he doesn't have to be just for God to cause the sun to shine on him a little bit. He doesn't have to be just or perfect for God to cause the rain or whatever. But God blesses them alike. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. God looks beyond their fault and he sees their need. Hallelujah. They need a savior. They need the Lord. They need forgiveness. They need compassion. Hallelujah. And God says, I look beyond their fault. I see their need. I see their need. Look at somebody and say, help me, Jesus. That's what he's saying. He causes the sun to rise on the just as well as the unjust. And the Lord says in his word, mercy rejoices against judgment. In other words, which of the two mercy will triumph over judgment? It'll rejoice against it because God is a God of mercy. Are we coming through y'all? Are we making it clear? Hallelujah. And then God, let me read what he says in Matthew 23. 20. Y'all getting quiet on me now. Y'all, y'all supposed to be kind of helping me out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just preaching a little bit, sharing what the Lord is sharing to me. You know, this belongs to me now. It ain't, it ain't at you. This is, this is for me. This is for us, you know, because of what God is saying. So you, you can go ahead and say, oh, ouch. Or you can go ahead and say, praise the Lord. It's all right because we're still one and we all belong to God. Isn't that right? Look at Matthew 23. Look at what he says here in Matthew 23, what he had to say to the scribes and Pharisees. Now, I want you to look at somebody and say, thank God I'm not a scribe. Thank, thank God I'm not a Pharisee. Amen. Hallelujah. But this is what he said to, to the Pharisees. Verse 23 in chapter 20, Matthew 23. Matthew 23, 23. He said, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. For you pay tithes of mint and anise and cumin, cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. What are you talking about, Jesus? Judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought you to have done and not to leave the other undone. They said, you blind guys, you strain at a gnat, something so little, and you swallow a camel. Now, isn't that a ridiculous statement? You got to see what God is saying. You miss the very essence 
of the Spirit of the law. Hallelujah. And then I heard Paul said, for the latter, kill it. But the Spirit gives life. We want to walk in the spirit of what God says, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Spirit gives life. Now, the second thing he said, he said, uh, therefore, the Lord, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. And his talking with them, they should have recognized in Jesus is not a breaker of the Sabbath, but a creator of the Sabbath. They didn't understand that. Jesus is our Sabbath. Are you with me? Jesus is our Sabbath. What do you mean, Brother Herring? The Bible says... Jesus says, he said, they won't come to me that they might have life. Then he says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Spiritual rest. So that the guilt, the works, the condemnation, the human efforts, You die to that. The Bible says in Hebrew for he that has believed. Somebody say believed. Do enter into God's rest. Are you with me? He that believed. Do enter into God's rest. And he said in uh, in even Hebrew. There remains a rest. For the people of God. Second thing that God wants to do is to bring us into rest. Rest from all of our human struggles. Rest from all of our efforts trying to be good. Rest in the Lord, right? To rest. That means to have peace. Hallelujah. And that is to experience the freedom that comes with Jesus as our righteousness. Jesus is our righteousness, and we are complete in him. Somebody say rest. rest. You see, rest is, is, is important for us, that spiritual rest, and that's what God wants to do. He is our Sabbath. Not only is he Lord of the Sabbath, not only that he is the, cre- the creator of Sabbath, but he is our Sabbath. He is our Sabbath. And the Bible says... And the old prophet says, he shall be called Jehovah, our righteousness. When the Spirit of God comes into our hearts, when Jesus Christ, when the Spirit of Jesus Christ is imparted to us, we are his children. We have been forgiven we have been made free from all condemnation free from all guilt somebody say but I still got these areas in my life that doesn't that doesn't matter you are still free in the positionally from that which condemns you are no longer condemned but you're righteous you're blessed Now, we're blessed not because we do good, but because of the good one in us. Isn't that right? So that's where we have that foundation has to be laid properly, that we are God's children, and we are the righteousness of God in Christ. Now, and so the other part of the growth and everything, learning how to re-educate ourselves or renew our mind and learning how to yield to the new nature. That's, that's, what the, uh, that's what we do, right? But it's not considered works, right? 
It is just learning now to cooperate with the newfound spirit of God in our lives. We are already accepted in him, right? Jesus is our Sabbath, so now God wants to give us rest. Rest. And the last, the, 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 end, the end of everything that I'm saying is this in, in conclusion. God said he wants to meet your and my spiritual needs or my, our needs as well. He want to meet those needs. And he doesn't want us beating ourselves up, looking at our shortcomings and then say, well, maybe it's because of this God won't hear me or maybe all of this here. But he wants us first and foremost to understand Whose we are. We belong to God now. And God is not attached condemnation to the righteous people of God. That's got to be settled, right? And so now when we come to God, we must come to him in faith. Just like we believe to be saved, right? We believe to be healed, right? Same thing, same thing, same thing. In other words, it's from faith to faith. So God is saying, if you need healing, then I want you to come, not with guilt. Not feeling like, uh, uh, you know, you know, saints, can I say this here? Uh, you know, I, I, it's one thing to cry because you're feeling guilty. You got a lot of guilt. It's another thing to come to God in true faith, to feel sorry for your sins, and to expect God to do something to help you, right? Because the guilt cry can be a long Tedious cry, a never ending cry. But when you come in faith, knowing that God has forgiven you of your sins, and I know that He has forgiven me of my sins, then I come to Him in faith, right? Yes, I make my confession. No, I'm not going to hide my sin because the Bible says if I hide my sin, the Lord will not hear me, right? So I understand that well. So, but I come to him still in faith. I still don't have to come to him feeling condemned about my life, right? He doesn't want that. We are sons now. We're not slaves, right? A slave feel condemned, right? Because he operates by fear. He doesn't know when he's ever pleased his father, right? Or his, his Lord. But not with sons. Sons. Hallelujah. We belong to the family of God. Am I, am I preaching too long? We belong to the family of God. That's who we are, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. That's who we are now. So we must lift our hands and glorify the Lord, knowing that he loves us, knowing that he cares for us, knowing that he's not going to leave us, knowing that he will heal us, knowing that he will perfect that concern in us, knowing these things. Um, can I get somebody to stand up and begin to give God some praise for who he is and for what he's done for us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I am certain that God loves you. I am certain that he loves me. I am certain that he is not hanging guilt over my head. I'm certain that he is not hanging guilt over your head. And he wants you to be certain, hallelujah, that his blood, his blood has purged our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Come on, give him some praise. Give him some glory in this place. Give him some glory in this place. For he's a great God. He's a great God. He's a wonderful Savior. There is none like this great Savior. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within. Sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. And from those waters he lifted me. And now safe am I. Somebody give God the praise. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. We lift you up, Lord. 
and we magnify you. I bless you because you're my maker and my creator and my God. You're my rock and my fortress, my shepherd and my God. Hallelujah. It's unto you be endless praise. I bless you, Lord, and I magnify you, God, because you've been good to me, Lord God. You deserve the glory. You deserve my praise. You deserve my worship. You deserve my worship. Hallelujah to the Lamb. You deserve my worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'll not give it to another. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. He's the sunshine of my soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's a mighty fortress and a bulwark that never fails. He's the shepherd amidst the flood, a uh, strong tower against my enemies. Hallelujah, he's great, uh, the ruling offspring of David and the bright and the morning star. He said, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I've got the keys to death, hell, and the grave. Glory to God. Bless him, somebody. He's deserving of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Um, hallelujah, I vow, I praise God. I, I purpose to allow him to change me. Hallelujah. I purpose for God to change me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be changed. Glory to God. I, I want to be transformed into the image of my Savior. But well, this is good to him. This is precious to him. And that's what I want. Hallelujah. What about you today? Do you want what he wants? Or do you have a list of what you want? I wonder if you do, if you put it aside and say, I want what God wants first and foremost for my life. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't worry, he's got enough power to fix it. He's got enough strength to do it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The writer said, I tried him for myself. Hallelujah. He's good. He's good. He's good. Hallelujah. He'll do you good. He'll do you good. Father, in Jesus' name, I honor you today. I thank you for the sunshine of your love. Thank you for being who you are to me, to the body of Christ to the world thank you for salvation thank you for salvation thank you Lord Jesus glory to God thank you thank you God thank you Lord for being our savior our soon coming king Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do now what pleases you, Lord. Move by your Holy Spirit. Heal us by your power. We cannot heal ourselves, but you can, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. As my wife, as she'll come. She may have gone out while we prepare our hearts for the Lord's ministry. Thank you, Lord. Pray with me once again. Our Lord and our God, there is none like you. We pray first and foremost for the viewers, Lord, who are watching by way of TV. Father, somebody out there, you have a special word of your grace let them receive today in the precious name of Jesus you've been so patient you've been so kind you've been so merciful therefore we give you glory and we give you honor for the glory of your presence strengthen these Lord that have heard the word today 
strengthened by your Holy Spirit. Let your healing love flow from heart to heart, from breast to breast. We've declared your eternal truths to this your people, Lord. Have your precious way. Let yokes be destroyed. Let chains come off. Let your people experience the freedom that you intended, Lord. Through the blood and of your son. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory. <laughs> Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Father. Take control now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, ya Glory. There is mercy coming from the Lord. I just sense in my heart there's mercy that's going to be displayed by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, yes, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. God's going to lift burdens. Do it for your honor. Ah, glory to God. Ah, glory to God. Ah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory. <laughs> Have your precious way now. We'll give your name to honor. Bless those, Lord God. Oh, Lord, everyone that viewed this broadcast. And everyone, Lord God, that you desire to minister to by the grace of God. Let the grace come now. Let help come from your throne. And every praise and honor certainly will be yours. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.